Hi, welcome back to Wine Mastery. And we have a very special wine to try. And I must be, I must be so lucky, 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 lucky. <laughs> Ah, ah. <laughs> you didn't tell me you were going to do that, <laughs> and I didn't know it would be that bad either. <laughs> 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 well, I wondered what you were doing. <laughs> oh, okay, After sorry. this. So if you haven't guessed already, this is a wine that is the Kylie Minogue wine. Uh, it is actually a sparkling rosé wine, but the actual sort of twist on the wine is it is alcohol free. So I guess technically it's not a wine, but it is a drink. Mm. They do use grapes uh, to produce it. There's a little bit of green tea. Now it is um, a sparkling wine. It is only six pounds. So. Um, shall we? Now, I'm a little bit dubious about this, you know, it's... <coughs> well, I, I'm, I'm always dubious about uh, alcohol-free wine. I remember you tricked me one time at, uh, at where we did gin. Some, you did, yes, yes, you tricked me with the gin. And when I, when, I, when I went into that thinking it was a gin and I tasted it and I was very disappointed, but then when you told me it was alcohol-free, that became something different. It was like, oh, well, actually, I can appreciate now what, what's going on with that. So we're going into this, we, we know what we're looking for, we're not looking at... Well, also, a lot of the alcohol-free wines I have tasted, have been in the past, it's been a long time since I've tried an alcohol-free wine, but they, they have always been fairly poor, uh, alcohol-free or not. So we're going to have a, a go of this um, Kylie Minogue, I should be so lucky. Lucky, lucky. Lucky, lucky. lucky. I wish I could sing. <laughs> so, so do you, I'm sure. Me too, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so cool, I mean, obviously we didn't say it, so it's a rosé wine. It's a rosé wine, I thought I said, did I not say that? I beg your pardon. Uh, we may or may not. Uh, but it's got a nice champagne, uh, the um, champagne, the salmon, you know that. Yeah, that nice salmon colour. Yeah. It, looks, uh, now, it, look, it looks inviting. Reading the label, they actually get that from carrot extract oh. and colour, which is strange. You would thought they would have used the, maybe they don't well, use red grapes, maybe they use white grapes, so they have to... No, well, there's, there's many different colourings you can get, yeah. so, so carrot. Yeah. Meh, well, well, it looks good, so who yeah. are we to judge? No. On the nice. nose? On the nose. Oh, sweetie juice. Sweetie <laughs> No, I, I get you, Jenna, I get you. Sweetie juice, yeah. It's, all, it's got that like, kind of, almost like a, it's the over-exaggerated smell of watermelon and... I think it's grape juice. Grape juice. It, yeah, grape juice, yeah. 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 That's, yeah. But, that, but that is as simple as it is, isn't it? That, yeah. That is what it is. Yeah. But I'll, I'll be honest, it smells, it smells nice. Doesn't it doesn't does. smell... Well, it smells a bit. It smells like if I'm, I'm a little bit sort of trepidatious that it's going to be um, slightly too sweet. Yes, it smells sweet, doesn't mm. it? I think that's why you said the, the yeah. sweetie juice. Yeah. It smells like pop. Like, yeah, pop. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There, well, there's no other way to describe it, but let's have a go. Hmm. That isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I'm not being negative there. I was with that sweet smell. I thought oh, it's going to be a bit cloy. It's going to be a bit sweety. Actually, that's quite nice. I'm, I'm with you 100 percent on that. I came into this thinking I wasn't going to like it, I'm, and I'm not saying I'm there yet. But I, I, I came in ready to. And I'm not sure if it's because I know it's alcohol free, but there's just that little one dimension that's missing because of the alcohol. The yeah. taste is there, but then there isn't that. I'm not sure what it is, well, the alcohol, I'm not sure how to describe that. It's that bit that touches, it's, it's the same as when, when, when you gave me the uh, alcohol-free uh, gin and it, it was just something missing, something lacking, quite a big thing. But this, I think is, I know what you mean, it's that bit that touches your soul, that, that um, you know, what's it, that warming thing, but the thing that just draws you to it, it doesn't have that. However, this isn't bad at all. And, and, and saying this isn't bad is doing it an injustice. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm pulling myself back here now because I've, I've looked. There are a number of things here which would ring alarm bells for me. Number one is pink. Now, number number two is no alcohol. Number three is Kylie Minogue. But that is actually, I, I'm I'm in I'm enjoying that. If if I was served this as an alcohol free drink, I think I'd enjoy it. I, well, I'm smiling to myself now. I'm enjoying it. I think it, in terms of being Kylie is 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 a little bit unfair because. We've mm. actually tasted some Kylie brand, and actually for, for sort of celebrity brands, and quite a few of them have been very nice. We have, but, but sometimes there's something inside that when, when you see that it's uh, branded and adds... Rosé, you know, sparkly... And all that corporate... Yeah, he, he's like, all right, here we go. Um, 
But you know what? I mean, it's, it's, it's a simple, it's a simple drink. Um, but again, as I say, if I, if I was to be driving or in, in an event where I couldn't be drinking, you're on and some tablets or something, you know, you're on yeah, the medication yeah. doesn't allow you to drink. I yeah. wouldn't say no. To, it's quite. It's, it's, it, like you said there, it's, it's missing something. There's something missing there. But if, you, if you're aware that it is non-alcoholic, then I think you can take take it on the chin, so to speak. But this is, it's juicer. It's got the for me peach. I know it's like it's grapes, obviously. It's refreshing, and it, I think you, what you were talking about with that green tea. Yeah. It's at the very end there to give you that. Almost that like tannic style. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think that was off camera. So just it's got green tea oh. in it as well. Um, so, <laughs> but yeah, yeah so that 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 really works to to make it to give it a little more a little more dimension, mm. a little extra than you know a, a half a pint of Coca Cola. It's got it's got that. This. I think it's you know for some if you've got guests that. Um, you know, aren't drinking because they're driving all around. You know, they they can't for some reason drink alcohol. Um, then this is you know, far better to be topping their glass up with this. At least they 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 won't feel like they're sort of you know um, everyone else is drinking. It, it it is something that just will help the social event go just flow a little bit more with them. I think obviously not. You know, there's no alcoholic effect obviously, but it's just being what makes them more part of the event. I think. Mm. And if you know, you would actually you know. So this is sort of one of our uh, Christmas uh, series. Can I get on to pairing? Do you think that's... Uh, Please that's, do, yeah. yeah. So I think that, you know, if you were sort of drinking this and you could take it to the table and have this uh, with turkey, if it's Thanksgiving or, or, or Christmas, I think this would go fine with, with, with turkey. There's just enough flavour there, you know. Easy. But yeah. still light enough as well. It's not going to affect yeah. it. You're going to get... Yeah, you get Absolutely. away with that nice yeah, thing. yeah. Um, uh, in, in terms of cheese, I'm going to look at a, a, a brie style or a, soft, a softer, a washed rind cheese, maybe. So, well, yeah, you'd be fine. Something like the Baron Bigod, which is... It's almost gone. Well, I, I, well, that's another thing. I'm actually, yeah, I was going to describe this, uh, and I don't. Oh, it's going on record this as well because I don't think I've, I've ever described a non-alcoholic wine as such. But it's actually a little bit classy for, for a non-alcoholic wine. I think that is holding its own. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Again, I would not be embarrassed to, to show that as a non-alcoholic because I mean, when you are serving uh, um, to someone who's not drinking, you, you are limited with your options. But something like that, like you were saying, I think it will keep people included. Um, yeah, that, that, that's, it's very nice. It's very nice. I would drink that. Sorry, I interrupted your, no, your I, cheese. I'd have that as a morning beverage. <laughs> 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 but, no, a Baron Bigod, which is like a, it's a, an English brie uh, that's just hinting towards the French style with that, that little bit of cabbage flavour, but without being too brie de more in style. So, yeah, I think that would yeah. work perfectly. Yeah, and another great drink for an aperitif if you're not drinking, uh, you know, alcohol uh, in the morning. Um, <laughs> yeah. When you, when, yeah, because I always treat, you always treat yourself to a glass of sparkly in the morning on a celebration day, so, so do I. So, Indeed, so. and why not, yeah. And why not, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Excellent, so we do some scoring. Yes. Now, it is six, I'm going to just do six pounds. Um, so, you know, phew, there's, no, there's no alcohol tax on that, so, ah. Oh. Right, six pounds, that's fair dues. Um, I would pay six pounds. <laughs> no getting away from it. I mean, I'm, we are going to judge this as a non alcohol. We, ha we have to keep that in mind. Yes, we do. Um, and again, six pounds, I, I, I think it's quite good because, you know, I tell you, if, if you're serving non alcoholic, it's, it's usually nine times out of ten, it's either tonic water or, or Coca Cola. I think that's much classier, and I, I, I would be proud to serve that as a non alcoholic wine. Uh, six pounds, I don't think it's too obscene, so I'm going to give this a healthy score of... Mm -mm. That way, yeah. Okay, well, at six pounds, um, you know, it is something I come... I think that I'd give this 86. Ooh, 82. Oh, really? Mm, okay. Uh, we're doing very well, I mean, we're quite close here, John. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I mean, I, I gave it those probably the extra four points because it is six pounds. I think I took into account there's no, you know, the, the alcohol, it hasn't got the alcohol, so you can't expect that in the drink and, and that effect on the taste. So without that, I thought it did very well, very balanced and interesting yeah. drink. Um, you, you're very right. As I say, you know, I, I would quite happily, I, in fact, I'd be quite impressed to show that if someone if someone's coming to my house for whatever reason and they said i'm sorry i'm not drinking and i could offer them that that instead of you know like i said coca-cola the tonic water a cup of tea you know i to be able to provide that i think it would be quite impressive 
Yeah, so do I. I, I think it would be. Enjoy- There's not many people that wouldn't enjoy that, really. Was is no, there? even even. Uh, believe me, I like alcohol. <laughs> I've actually really enjoyed that. Yeah, juicy and yeah. delicious. Yeah, excellent. So well, well done, Kylie. I'm assuming she was involved in the tasting. Oh, every, every step of the way. Every step She's of the way. She's never seen it. She, <laughs> no, bet... she doesn't even know she owns the vineyard. No, she does. <laughs> She's a businesswoman. She didn't get to be that successful without being a businesswoman. She would have given her final approval. You reckon? I reckon. Okay. I reckon. Kylie, tell us if you didn't. Yeah, because yeah, Kylie... <laughs> Kylie, let me give you our personal number. Because <laughs> she obviously watches this. So she, she can't obviously. wait for a new episode to come out. Of course not. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kelly, if you are watching, even if it's, even if it's only to, to hear me give uh, uh, another rendering of one of her songs. Oh yeah, she can she can pick up a lot. Turn it. Was it turn around? I'm spinning. I'm around. spinning. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly the one. I think that's on the video as well. Is it? <laughs> enough, enough. <laughs> Thanks, Kylie. Well, even non-alcoholic wine has got us giddy. Yeah, it has. It has. It's Kylie, obviously, it's obviously the bubbles. It's the bubbles. <coughs> ah. So, guys, um, we're doing a few others of these. There'll be some links to some other Christmas drinks, uh, seasonal drinks, uh, Thanksgiving drinks. Um, have a look at those. Uh, until the next time, we look forward to seeing you when we've got a glass in our hand, even if it's an empty one. <laughs> uh, we'll see you there. Chin-chin. Chin-chin.